Hello, my beautiful viewers on my channel, James Higgins Open World. What I've got for you now is Brexit has obviously reared its head again. Uh, and you know my view. Uh, I did vote to leave. <coughs> but I would vote to stay now. But uh, even though I'd vote to stay, uh, I've still got major issues with the EU, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's corrupt. I think we should just go back to what we signed up for in 75, a free trade area of nation states. But I'd like to uh, have a look at something, then we can talk after. It's called Broken Promises, and it's on YouTube. Now, wait till you see this, how, how all the politicians lied after the referendum. Right, just wait there a minute. One second. Here we go. One second. This is a once-in-a-generation vote. This is the once-in-a-lifetime decision. This is a decision for once and for all. People will decide. This is the once-in-a-lifetime decision. This is a decision. Once and for all decision. We will, not, we will not be taking a decision like this again in our lifetime. There won't be another referendum on Europe. This is it. This is a one off choice between staying in or leaving completely. If we as a country decide to quit, then we're out for good. There's no going back. There's no second vote. There will be no second referendum. No, I don't think we need a second referendum. Uh, the referendum is clear and has to be accepted, and we can't have a rerun of the questions put to the country. I say that with all the conviction and all the sincerity uh, I, I have. It's so important, this decision. If we vote to leave, then we will leave. If you vote to leave, we leave. You vote to leave, we're out. That's it. We're going. Whatever the result is, we have to respect it. We respect the result of this referendum. The Parliament should respect that referendum result. We've said that all the way through. Whatever the British people decide, we work together constructively to make that happen. I don't think it would be right for Parliament to try and unravel the decision <coughs> that the public have made. The British Parliament, Parliament should deliver what is required of that decision of the British people. I am not going to waste time, precious time, resisting. We'd be out of the single market. We're leaving the single market. Right? We're leaving the customs union. In March 2019, we will cease to be full members of the single market and the customs union. You have two years to negotiate. At the end of those two years, you are out and you have to operate under World Trade Organization rules. No deal would be better than a bad deal. <laughs> And it will be the final decision. And if anybody's in any doubt, we are going to leave the European Union on the 29th of March 2019. Well, there you go. You heard it yourself. You heard it yourself. One second and we'll get back to talking about it. Well, you heard it there yourself. Uh, we would leave the customs union. We would leave the single market. Right. Now, I point to this. When I debate with the Remainers on uh, on Facebook, I point to this particular video. Uh, but they come up with excuse after excuse after excuse. Uh, it just proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that the politicians from all, all parties, Labour, Liberal Democrats, the Conservatives, they're all a pack of liars. You saw it yourself. They all promised to respect... The referendum result, you, you heard it from David Cameron, you heard it from the former Prime Minister, uh, <clears throat> Theresa May, we would leave the single the single market and the customs union. And uh, to me personally, uh, after the referendum, the Remainers tried every dirty trick in the book to get us to stay. Uh, and if, you heard it You heard it yourself. If you need to re-watch this video and uh, re-watch it, <clears throat> what do I think will happen? Will we leave on the WTO? Uh, it will be a miracle, in my opinion, that we do. I think some sort of cobbled deal will be cobbled together that won't please the Remainers and it won't please uh, the Brexiteers. That's what I think will happen. But uh, it will, I've got very great doubts that we will leave on the WTO because I think we should leave. Even though I would vote to stay, we should still leave fully. This has been the problem, in my humble opinion that we've been half in and half out of the EU, uh, and what have you. And the vast majority of people who voted in 75 genuinely believed, in my humble opinion, and I've heard them say it, that they were voting for a free trade area of nation states, not a political union. The actor, David Jason, who played Del Boy in Only Fools and Horses, said himself, 
that I saw him say it, he said it, that he thought that's what they were voting for. And the vast majority of people thought that too. And what you have to remember, and I've said this on Facebook, but the Remainers won't have any of it, <clears throat> is in 75, there was no internet, there was no mobile phones, there was only three channels on TV, uh, there was no social media. The only way to get access to information was from the library, the three channels on TV and radio. And they, they loved, the Remainers loved to say it was in the Treaty of Rome. Who, who the hell in 75 would have known anything about the Treaty of Rome unless it was published in the paper and what have you? But most people thought that that's what they were signing up for, a free trade area of nation states. And here we are, what, four or five years later, and it's reared its ugly head again. And then you've got, the, I think, the worst uh, Remainer, who has been, in my opinion, humble opinion, radicalised by the EU, is, is a presenter on LBC radio called James O'Brien. Uh, he spends his whole, whole days basically going on about Brexit, and Trump, and he, he ridicules people. I mean, his heart's in the right place, but he does daily ridicule people on uh, <clears throat> on uh, Brexiteers who ring him up. I don't know why he bother. He's never, you're never going to change his opinion, and uh, what have you. I mean, personally, I mean, I think the EU is run by the, by Germany and France, and I've always thought that. Well, I haven't, because I used to be pro-European, but I do now. Definitely run by Germany. Well, yeah, I have actually thought it was always run by Germany. And that's what I think. No disrespect to any Germans watching or the German state or anything. But I do believe it's run by Germany and France. Uh, but uh, what, what will happen, like I said, I can't see us leaving on the WTO. I think some sort of deal will be cobbled together. Uh, and what have you, which won't please either party, you know. But there you go, you heard it yourself. It just, to me, what it's done to me, basically, is the Brexit thing. <clears throat> it's left me in a situation and I can't really vote Labour because they're pro-European and they'd have us back in the EU, in my opinion, in a heartbeat. I'd never vote Conservative under any circumstances. What have you? And obviously, I can't vote UKIP now or the Brexit Party because I would vote to stay. <coughs> but... <clears throat> That's it. It's just that's you've heard it. You've heard it yourself uh, here on my channel. The latest news from Brexit. It's not very positive, is it? Really. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching my channel, James Higgins Off World. Please subscribe. Thank you very much.